what is going on my fine and my divine ass feminine it is scorpion red several i am back at it again one time for the one time to let you know what your nourishment what your daily bread is from the divine our father god yes indeed shout out to all my new subscribers thank you so much for joining us for the divine feminine journey here with the daily bread we're going to find out what our energy is for tuesday the 21st and wednesday the 22nd of may all right shout out to all my new subscribers everyone who's clicked this video if you want to book a personal private reading with scorpion Red tarot all you got to do is click that about tab book and then link link okay book and then link click that booking tab that says that booking link that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me again it says scorpion red tarot as simply book me select your reading and double back click that instagram link and link up with me so we can reach and um reach reach out to each other there to um have the video chat if you don't have an instagram or prefer not to use an instagram um you can download an app called google hangouts all right you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com again it's scorpionreds at gmail.com and you can link up with me there for the video chat um so again the two options is instagram which the link is directly under the booking and google hangouts if um you want to send some love and light to the page um I want to give a shout out to my girl Callie, to my girl Amanda. Um, uh, Callie sent over this um, numerology deck. If you've seen, um, you mentioned her and the uh, monthlies. I just want to give her and um, Amanda a shout out one more time just for sending love and light to the page. And we got more awesome decks to come. Um, we have a Game of Thrones deck to all my Game of Thrones throners that's coming um, that, that are coming to the page. I love Game of Thrones. We got a Game of Thrones deck that's coming and another Love Oracle deck to come out um, that's coming I think sometime this week. So look out for that. And again, love and light to all of the ladies and everyone that's been sending love to the page. And if you want to send love to the page my amazon wish list and my paypal information is in the about tab and in the description let's get into the energy for my divine feminines real quick let me get a quick drink of water okay i want to um real quick bring my lady out that represents us all right because y'all know y'all know i love my fat man batman but yes we are wonder woman okay we are wonder woman so she represents us just how big how big and how loving and just our energy she really represents us so i want y'all every time y'all see me pull her out i want y'all to really just hug on yourself because you know and if y'all don't have a cute little bear or something like that it just represent you in that positive loving light passionate energy i even took her and i rubbed her down with some passion um oils and stuff like that so she smell good she's just loving and passionate and stuff just like me so i need you guys to kind of just exude this energy she just friendly and just loving and just happy so that's what we are and that's what we're going to be so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the fine and divine feminine please give us daily bread our nourishment for um shoot this is monday and i'm recording so monday tuesday and wednesday i'm gonna say may the 20th the 21st and the, um 22nd please give us guidance um throughout this week and particularly monday tuesday and wednesday um of this week and i thank you so much for all the guidance and just love and light and blessings that you've given us in the past present and future future continue to give us daily nourishment and um you know, p provide us the guidance that we need to move our footsteps towards prosperity and happiness and true love, light, and prosperity and joy. Thank you again for all your blessings. Please give Divine Feminine guidance for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, May the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Thank you again. All right. Let's see what we got here. Give me some guidance for my ladies, for my divine feminine. All right. I hear that song in the back. Mama ain't raised no hoe. Mama ain't raised no hoe. Okay? Uh, mama ain't raised no fool. What is this? In Rama. 
it basically means like we're on a voyage right now. We're on a voyage. Wonder voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul. Yeah, okay. And song of the siren, the call, submerging, voice to acknowledge. All right. Let's see what we got to follow that. Because my mama ain't no hoe. King of Wands, Queen of Swords, whoa, oh, oh, looks like going on that voyage you might bump into a King of Wands there, mm-hmm, I need the dollars, mama ain't ready to go up, oh, give me guys for the, Getting to know each other. Romantic feelings in the reverse. My main ray, no. My main ray, no. Mm. So it looks like on this journey, I feel like y'all going, y'all most definitely on like a soul journey right now. I really don't feel like divine feminine. I feel like we want love, but I don't feel like the ones that are on this journey right now, this is like my OG on this journey. And um, <laughs> OGs, I just want to say shout out to my OGs because I kind of went on like a little, on a little tangent the other day in one of the lives, you know what I'm saying? On one of the um, premiere because it was like someone had said something to the extent, was this the Seven of Wands? Heartbreak. Okay. So it was just like, Someone has said something to the extent it's just like all of the readings kind of be saying the same thing or always be picking up on the male energy. And it's like I understand y'all frustrations. That's why I started to do this, the Divine Feminine Daily Bread, because I want this directly to call to the women that are releasing themselves from that twin flame journey. Because like I said, it's toxic. You know what I'm saying? We're on a Divine Feminine journey. We're on a journey of our own divine light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Learning our own gifts, our own beauty, our own self-love so that we could truly call in the <laughs> twin flame. So we could truly call in the right person. Like if you really do believe in a twin flame journey, it, it healing, you know? And it's like, <sighs> what am I trying to say here? What I believe in regards to Twin Flame, I do believe that there's a soul partner, a divine soul partner, someone that, because we are just spirits here living a human experience, I do believe our souls are connected to one divine person, and it doesn't matter what form our soul is in, it doesn't matter if we are humans, if we're butterflies, you know what I'm saying, if we're ants. I feel like our souls are always destined to find each other. It doesn't matter what we go through in those journeys. Our journeys always are going to lead to that divine soul partner. And that's why I, like I really don't want a lot of you guys to get um, confused in thinking that um, people that are truly not your divine partner are and you know you guys get caught up in that toxic i don't know i just really feel like that twin flame stuff is just very toxic and i just really don't want you guys to wait on anybody i want you guys to love on yourself go on your own soul journeys find yourself who you are so that you guys are coming into you know like this says you know that's 666 and that does not mean anything bad it means to raise your vibration and choose peace or harmony in your thoughts and with others Choose a harmonious situation in your thinking, how you think about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because your thoughts attracts the type of energies that are coming to you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like we need to end cycles, you know, so we can allow true love to come in, you know? 
we got to. And a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these people that a lot of the ladies been harping on, on these twin flame journeys, they are not your divine. And a lot of the women that are here with me right now on this journey, they know that. And they are literally going on there in Brahma or whatever the heck that says. You know, going on a soul journey. Your own pilgrimage. It's like right now the divine feminine is not in no rush to be in no relationship with nobody because they still finding themselves. They still finding themselves. And it's like, yeah, you're going to bump into a king of wands and you're going to get to know each other. But I feel like... I don't like reading these in the reverse. No, I think that I just got the message of what that meant. Okay. It's like... We're also we're closing cycles of that unexpected income, like kind of not knowing where your income is coming from. It's just like really kind of like avoiding conflict, you know what I'm saying, in certain arenas in our life. And also standing up for ourselves and like not backing down in certain certain things. Like we're very passionate. We're very driven right now. We're very... Not not saying self-consumed in a narcissistic way, but yes, self-consumed. We're about self-preservation right now. You know what I'm saying? Against all odds, like self-preservation against all odds. And it's just like, I'm not going to allow, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, okay, anyway. It's like, I'm not going to allow myself to get defeated by circumstantial situations. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm the captain of my own ship i'm a master of my own destiny and it's like finally getting tired and ready to close chapters that's just been whooping your ass financially you know what i'm saying like never knowing where your next dollar is coming from and just heartbreak and just all of the stuff like that like you guys are like truly like almost like Ridding that, ridding that type of energy, that type of thought, that type of vibration, even vibrating on that level where it's like you're fighting, trying to overcome financial struggles and worries and stuff like that. Y'all, y'all, y'all are raising y'all vibration because at the end of the day, this woman is walking away from that struggle and that fight, and it's just like I feel this is also representing. You can't truly close the chapters and get to the money the way that you want to do if you still allowing dumb shit to consume your mind if other if, if, if idiots want to fight over dumb shit that don't really benefit them let them do it you not doing it no more you walking away from that shit you see what i'm saying that shit don't it don't have no value you finding a better way like mentally you know what I'm saying? I'm not even taking this five of swords in the wrong way. Like, you know, someone... Because it might be people trying to come around and trying to run game on you and things like that. But you are so much more wiser than that now. And, like, it, 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 you're so much more wiser than that. You are completely walking away from shit that you know is just a losing fucking battle. That you know without a shadow of a doubt in your mind. This is some bullshit. I'm not even fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? If this shit's going to get in the way of me focusing on, on my money, I'm not fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Certain chapters just need to be closed. And I got to raise my vibration and call in the right shit. And a lot of the things that we have been doing to kind of shoot ourselves in our own foot is, is being consumed by, like I said in that other live, watching the Divine Masculine um, readings and stuff like that. And I don't know. Y'all let me know. But I'm really starting to think about when I first started this journey right here, I did not include the Divine Masculine Daily Bread or the Divine Masculine Readings, period. And the only reason why I did it is because I did feel like there were some women that, that wanted those answers and they and I needed them to see that this motherfucker is not changing. And I feel like, I, I feel like my OGs, they see that and they know that. And I feel like Okay, they tired of hearing that. Okay, let's get back to this. You see what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know if y'all are feeling what I'm feeling. Because I really do feel like those divine masculine readings 
there are some men that be in there that I that that be in the comments and stuff that I know watch those videos and they really do be getting a message out of you know what what I'm trying to relate to them so that's why I really don't want to stop doing it but I really want to get you guys to kind of really go on your journey and go on your voyage you cannot successfully go on your journey if you keep going back and looking at what your ex is doing you see what i'm saying like i really need you guys to heal yourself so that you can truly bring in the right type of energy someone that is sitting right on their throne you know what i'm saying and the only time and the only place in the only setting that you're gonna meet these type of individuals is when you truly let go of and I and I'm not trying to make it sound in a, in a negative way, but there is like you know what Tyler Tarot said that shit, and I love me some Tyler Tarot because Tyler Tarot will cut your ass out and get your ass right the fuck on together when you need to be getting together. You know what I'm saying? Cause he'll tell you, well, why are you in this? Why why are you? You know what I'm saying? Why are you watching this? Why are you? You know what I'm saying? This this and that, but not um. Not why are you watching this in the in a sense of why are you watching divine feminine readings, but um, when people are in the comments and saying, "Fuck this shit, I don't I don't like my ex, I don't want my ex," and it's like, well, why the fuck are you watching this shit if you don't give a fuck about your ex? Why are you watching a reading that saying, "Are they gonna come back to me or whatever, whatever it was"? You know what I'm saying? And Tyler was right, and he and he truly, 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 truly was right. And that's the thing. I need us to go on a voyage. I need us to really let go and start hovering on those energy and leave that motherfucker to his own devices. And if he going to do it, let him destroy himself. You know what I'm saying? If this person is going to learn what should have been intended for this person to learn throughout this journey with you, that's up to them to get it or not. Let you be the one that got away. Let you be the beautiful one that got away. And you found the true king, handsome, sexy, vibrant, action-oriented. This one is going to actually show you that they care. By their actions, by their passion, by their determination to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? This is one that's going to make an effort and damn, he looks fucking good. Take the time to really get to know this one. Get to know the right ones. You see what I'm saying? Don't fight these people off. You see what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of us sometimes we meet people, but then it's like because of the that whole twin flame bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That you experienced. It's like you get defensive and it's like you want to fight people off ever because it's like deep in your heart you still waiting for some twin flame bullshit. When this motherfucker's with somebody else, let it go. And I want y'all to understand how ridiculous that that shit looks and i know my old jesus like i'm not waiting for shit and i know that's right and that's why we here getting this daily bread because i'm going to tell you the truth release yourself from this bullshit you know what i'm saying and bring in let this represent your true divine soul partner that god created specifically for you you see what I'm saying? I don't want you guys to be so defensive where you might be missing your true divine partner. You see what I'm saying? So get to know this person. It says, as you reveal your most inner selves to each other, your bond deepens. You see what I'm saying? Your bond deepens, but at the same time, you know, I feel like there's a lot of conflict that still rests within you. You see? Because I feel like you are just, uh, I don't feel like this person is trying to hurt you. You see what I'm saying? I don't feel like this person is trying to hurt you, but I don't necessarily even think it's just about that. I feel like you have other things going on in your life, Divine Feminine, that are like, that you're, like you're dealing with the cards that are being dealt to you right now. And you guys might be dealing with, you know, some serious shit right now trying to carve your new beginnings you know um this is very much so still in your heart and you really do want that true person for you but it's like you're battling so much and it's like yeah you meet people and you 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 trying to get to know people but it's like how can you focus on that when it's like you're still trying to learn and find out who you are 
you on this voyage just trying to find out who you are it's just like it's just it's just it's just a lot of conflict right now i feel like trying to trying to give yourself to like love on this level right now it's a, it's a conflict for you and it's a lot of conflict going on in your life on a lot of different levels that is not just about love it's about life and about y'all trying to like really you know raise your vibration and choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others it's like y'all choosing the right type of people y'all are not trying to make the same mistakes and that's why you're so guarded and that's why you're so conflicted when you meet people because it's like well what the fuck is your deal but it's like at the same time if you kind of have that toxic thinking you're wishing bad on a, on a situation before it can even show you that it's good and i need you to change that cycle and you're thinking with that and with everything in your life because even with your income i feel like a lot of times it's like situations come around and it's just like oh well i don't have no money for that you never gonna have money for that you keep talking like that instead of saying well i'm broke i don't have no money if this is that, be like shit I don't know how I'm about to get it, but I'm about to figure that shit out. Some money about to fall from out the sky. Be like, shit, you know what it is, but you, yeah, God willing, I'm going to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, just try to talk blessings in your life. That's why I said to raise your vibration, choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. So even, like I said, use your tools wisely. Please make sure that you're using your tools wisely in your thoughts, you know, in your interactions with people, how you speak. To people and how you speak on yourself and how you speak on your situation you know what i'm saying like try to like that's kind of like the art of manifestation like even sometimes when the world is like literally kicking your ass sometimes sometimes you gotta know when it's time to gracefully bow out and leave motherfuckers to their own devices and I really do feel like this is a battle that you just walking away and just leaving behind. It's a mental battle that I feel like you were just finished and you were just done with it. Because it's like, I'm tired of just, it's like feeling mentally defeated by this situation. And that's why I want you guys, and I really do want to urge you guys to really lay back, especially my OGs. And like I said in the reading yesterday in the live, like realize and truly recognize, baby, that you were healed. You were healed. If you wasn't healed, you wouldn't be going on this journey. You know what I'm saying? Look at yourself in the mirror and say, baby, you were healed. You were healed. You were happy. You were glorious. You were victorious. You are a miracle. It is time to let go. It is time to walk away from shit. That don't mean it's no well. It is time to get away from that lack mentality and thinking that money ain't going to fall from the sky. Honey, I'm a walking blessing because God told me. Honey, and when you speak on your life like that and when you look at yourself like that, honey, oh, blessings is going to drop from the sky because I promise you. It's really time to let go of looking at a lot of those readings that... If you want to look at your monthly reading, that's cool. But if you're if if every time you're looking at your monthly reading, it's talking about some shit from your past, your ex, and that shit ain't resonating with you, that's God telling you, baby, it's time to move on from that shit. It's time to like take everything that you've learned from tarot and actually take those steps and walk and take everything that you've learned and start showing it and implementing it in your life. You know what I'm saying? It's like you are in a senior class, my OGs. You are in a senior class. Y'all are graduating. You see what I'm saying? Y'all are graduating. Like, anything, don't listen to any music. Don't listen to anything that will trigger you. You see what I'm saying? Like, even the song in the background, I love her. But it's like you got to listen to what she's saying. She said, if, if, if I had to fight or lose sleep at night, at least I know that you are mine. Like, what type of life is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, just to have someone in your life, you'll, you'll, you'll lose sleep at night. You'll drive yourself crazy just to know that I won't lose you and you'll be there. I'd rather go on a voyage and find myself and love myself and be by myself before I sit there and be miserable for someone that is trying to be in the world. Their self. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's, it's truly... 
And I want you guys to understand, when you truly meet your true king, the one that's taking the action and showing you that they love you, y'all not going to be watching this shit. And like I told y'all, I do other shit. I don't just do tell readings. When y'all realize that y'all are healed, and I mean, if y'all want to listen to this, these type of readings, this is Daily Bread. And I try to make sure that the Daily Bread is intended and dedicated to our daily growth every day. But we're not talking about the past. We talk about how we want to implement what we've learned from the past in the future. And I really want to, and I'm, I'm going to try my best my best because i needed this to be a safe space for me and that's why i started doing this because i started to get frustrated i didn't want to hear about that motherfucker no more i wanted to know about me this is about you on your voyage meeting someone is showing you tattoo my name on it show me that it's real this one gonna tattoo their name on it and fucking show you that it's real and i understand that you're dealing with a lot of conflict and stuff like that but honey trust and believe trust and believe when you fighting for this new beginning like this it ain't gonna be easy i want you to keep on fighting but don't block out the people and don't be guarded and like run away don't run, don't, don't run away the one that God trying to send to you. You know what I'm saying? Because this one, this this one right here going to have your back. This one going to show you you ain't even got to fight hard like this. I'm a true king, baby. Go ahead and rest. Go in the kitchen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Baby, go ahead and put them sticks down. You ain't no man. What you out here doing fighting? Go in the kitchen, baby. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? This is what you doing. Get to know this one. Get to know this one. Okay? Get to know this one. And it's mainly about raising your vibration and stop. Stop thinking like this. Stop thinking like this and learn how to literally walk away. And you know what I'm saying? Walk away and, and let go of shit mentally that you know is just like kind of just destroying you and beating you up on the inside. Truly. Because like I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all like a lot of my favorite, favorite. Now there's certain just people that I watch because... I literally love everything that they do. It's like readings that ain't even my fucking sign. But I just watch their shit because I always seem to get a message out of whatever they do. Like spiritual OG. I love spiritual OG. You know what I'm saying? I fucking love her. And it doesn't matter what she's talking about. I always can get a message from her. I truly feel like she is a divine queen. I love, 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 love that queen. You know what I'm saying? So unless it's something... Like that, just make sure, you know, that song of the siren, the call, submerging, the voice, acknowledge, like truly submerge yourself and acknowledge the fact that you are healed. You understand that you have broken away and you have completely submerged yourself in this divine energy, honey. Truly, truly, Queen of Swords. You walking in your truth. You have a new foundation. And it's just like, I, you don't even give a fuck about. I feel like you don't, you, you, you're you not really caring about right now having too much romantic feelings about people. Because I feel like right now you really do. Like I said, right now you feel like it's going to lead to heartbreak. And I want you to change your thinking about that. Because if that's how you walking around with your sword up in the air. <laughs> like this ready to just cut people back because you just know without a shadow of doubt all these motherfuckers out here is cheater just bullshit like you, you, you're just like no 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 and I need you to submerge yourself and, and realize that like I said this this thinking this this thinking right here this thinking right here needs to change it's just like defeated, like nothing's going to come to you that you deserve and that you really want. And that's not true. That's not true. You have to change your thinking. You have to change your thinking. And it's like, yes, you're strong and you're very smart and you're very wise. But at the end of the day, I don't think you're using it as smart as you are. I don't think that you're using it right. You know, I don't think I don't think that you're using it right. 
you truly need to heal and like i said what is this yeah you need to heal and there it is at that financial support again you need to heal Get all your chakras aligned and get out of this lack mentality, feeling like you don't got no support, especially in a finance situation. If you keep thinking like that, your situation going to keep being like that. You have to put love on everything. Speak positive affirmations into your life. Speak peace and love into your life and let your cup overflow. That is loving yourself. Even your situation, even as fucked up as it may be, whatever your circumstances it is, just appreciate what you do have and say, God, I thank you for what I do have. And I do know I love myself and I know you love me enough that this too shall pass. Keep me in that vibration. Please remove any negative thinking, anything that will keep me in lack. That will get in the way of what I truly deserve coming to me because my thinking is not in peace and prosperity and love so that I can receive. And I believe I talked to you guys before about cleaning that table off. God is removing things from your table because you need to have a clean environment to be able to receive. And that means mentally too. Mentally too. This is a message. This is truly a message. Temperance. You need to really get another refill. You need to get a refill. Can I get a refill? I don't feel like singing right now. But you need to get a refill. God said come to me. It's time to get another refill because I feel like I ain't did this Divine Feminine Daily Bread like this in a good little minute. I think we've been focused on the tea and all this other shit and it's just like, no. Mm-mm. Even though I am about to do tea, the tea in a second, so y'all look out for the tea. <laughs> but anyway, I just want you guys to like really, really get yourself spiritually balanced again. I need you to get your hope back. I need you to get those prayers back up. Get them prayers back up, ladies. The spring is here. The flowers are blooming. We need to continue to bloom and grow. Don't change your, don't listen, don't fall off the wagon, baby. Don't fall off the wagon. We need to straighten up our crown, baby. Straighten up our crown, honey. Go put our motherfucking um, Rihanna Fenty sexy, sexy panties or whatever. Everybody be wearing, everybody be in, getting the Fenty box, okay, girl? All right, girl, get you a Fenty box, girl. Go get you a Scentberg box, girl. Okay. Everything. What's the makeup box? What's the makeup box? Girl, get you a makeup box, girl. Get you and you know what? I think I want y'all to do that because gift yourself every motherfucking month. Every month. You got you got three surprises coming in the door. Mind, body, and soul. You know what I'm saying? Do do Rihanna got like a monthly box? I don't think she got a monthly box. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? And pull one of these swords out one at a time every month. Oop, oop, that's for me. Oop, that's for me. Oop, that's for me. This shit don't even exist no more. And now we just walking around here with just straight cake. Straight cheeks. You understand? Giving these niggas something to eat. That's what we need. That's all we doing. We giving people shit to eat. We making them eat cake out here. You feel what I'm saying? So, Divine Feminine, this has been your daily bread. I hope that this message reaches you well. I will see you guys on the tea. I love you guys. Love and light. Peace.